Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Thursday, the 28th of November, 2019. Our Seeds of Destiny today is titled, Your Company and Your Outcome. Scriptural reference today makes us understand. It says, Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Thought for the day. Your company determines your outcome. Your habit determines your habitat. And your association determines your acceleration in life. Now, we understand that company in this context refers to the fact or the condition of being with another or with others, especially in a way that provides friendship and enjoyment. It simply refers to persons or group of persons or associates or people that you keep company with. Hence, a man's company is very critical to his life and destiny. Company affects or determines people's outcome in life. Get this. Who you company with determines what accompanies you. Who, follow, who you follow determines what follows you. Who surrounds you determines what you can survive. Your environment determines your attainment. For instance, for as long as, as the wise men who saw the star of Jesus at his birth, accompanied with the star, they couldn't miss their direction. But the moment they sought another company, they went to the house of Herod. They lost sight of the star that had led them all the way and they missed their direction on the journey in Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Beloved, hear this. Never branch off to the house of Herod if you are on the journey of destiny. The wrong company will only terminate your journey of destiny. A good example of the right company was the case of Mary and Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. Luke chapter 1 verse 41. The meaning of this therefore is, there are those you company with that cause your potentials to jump up and jump out. And there are others that you hang around that kill your potentials or your anointing. Therefore, go away from those who kill the babies in your womb. Go away from those who kill your vision. Go away from those whose voices cause your enthusiasm to die. Avoid the company of wrong people as you would avoid filth. You must have a positive outcome in life and in destiny. If you must, then avoid evil company. Remember this, that your company determines your outcome. Your habit determines your habitat. And your association determines your acceleration in life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, let's go ahead. We'll, we'll look at our assignment uh, quickly. First of all, look for those who bring out um, the best in you. Those who bring confirmations to your visions and company with them. And secondly, never manage the wrong company out of pity. Else, it damages your own life and truncates your own destiny. That shall not be your portion in Jesus' name. And thirdly, desperately ask God to consistently bring the right people into your life. And as he does that, I see you rising into victory in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Say, oh Lord. By your whirlwind, disconnect me from every wrong company and connect me with those that you have placed along my destiny pathway to assist me have a positive outcome in life. Help me to also contribute positively to fulfilling your purpose in other people's lives. In Jesus' name, praise God. I'm excited you prayed that prayer and I know that the Lord will help you to fulfill destiny in a big way in Jesus name. I'd like to pray for somebody today who says, I'm a sinner. I don't know Jesus. I'm not living right. I am keeping very, very bad company and you want me to pray for you and you want me to declare the breaking of that evil company from off your life. Pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life and be the Lord of my life. 
Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. Help me to live a life that pleases you. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray for you and I break the yoke of the wrong company from off your life. I declare that you shall succeed. You shall do well. In Jesus' name. i